Bags of food are being loaded up, ready to be sent off to those who need help. There's flour, semolina, coffee, cooking oil, and much more. The operation, Straw Basket of Ramadan, delivers bags of a food worth around 51 US dollars, which can feed a family for about 15 days. Last year, we distributed 1,750 straw baskets. This year, it's 1,250. There is a big difference and an increase in poverty. Today, the team is visiting Merzuk Rekia. I did not make the request. It's my son who did it. He is like me, sick. While recipients appreciate the help, some NGOs are concerned that the program is being used to conceal the full extent of poverty. Simply because all the objective factors to take a census of poor people in this country and take care of them properly are not respected. And by its name we say straw basket of Ramadan, which means that if we really identified with poor people and take care of them, it's only for the month of Ramadan. And so the rest of the year they are not taken care of. Meanwhile, in neighboring Niger, Muslims face a particularly difficult Ramadan with rising food prices. The nation is suffering from soaring food inflation. Imported products such as rice, wheat flour, sugar and vegetable oil, as well as locally grown fruit and vegetables, have increased rapidly in price. Islamic leaders have called for traders to reduce their prices to help those who are fasting. Maybe a faction of Muslims haven't understood that this is the best moment to reduce prices to diminish the suffering of everyone and allow everyone to bless the month of Ramadan. But sadly, we haven't understood because it's like our bidding is leading to soaring prices. Traders, however, have been quick to defend themselves. The early days of Ramadan coincides with a shortage of locally produced potatoes, yet it is a meal that is quite common in homes during Ramadan. We are forced to import and thus the increase in price of this particular product. As you can see, this is a variety that comes from Morocco. Consumers should understand us. It's not our fault. Despite those economic arguments, many Muslims in Niger will find this year's Ramadan financially difficult. Salasin Karone, CCTV.